Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Brown and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, first things first, just to get this out of the way, I am super sorry for my appearance at the moment. My hair is all messed up. Uh, we're currently in the midst of No Shave November, so this is happening. But if you can look past the fact that I am an absolute bum, then you are in for quite the treat with today's video, as I'm going to be talking about Chainsaw Man. That is right. As you guys may or may not know, if you've watched my reading logs, I have recently been reading Chainsaw Man after having started it recently, I've read the first four volumes, which I should probably be walking around security because I own these very hard to find volumes. But yeah, I decided that since Chainsaw Man is such a hot and popular series that so many people love, I would give my opinions on it so far after having read the first four volumes and make it into a video for you guys to enjoy. So that's what we're going to be doing today in this video. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. But without any further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so there's probably not a whole lot of a need for me to explain the plot of Chainsaw Man, but I'm going to give a very brief plot synopsis just for anyone who is unaware. But basically, Chainsaw Man follows our main character, Denji. He is a boy who is extremely, extremely poor. He's just being swallowed up by debt. Everyone treats him like dirt. He's basically just trying to survive. But one day, in an attempt to get some money, he's hired as a devil hunter. He goes in and he gets brutalized. But on the brink of death, he makes a contract with the Chainsaw Devil or this little Puchita devil dog, and he becomes Chainsaw Man. Now, after this all happens, Denji is taken in by this woman named Makima to be an official devil hunter, I guess, and work for the government. But uh, yeah, now he's big time, and he sets his sight on this goal of touching boobs. You know, basically, after living this horrible life, he doesn't really want a whole lot, but just some more meals, a bed to sleep in, and to grab some honkers. Now, that's a pretty brief baseline introduction to the series, and one thing that I've heard about this series is that the story, though, starts off pretty simple, like I've kind of described it, goes completely in a different direction and becomes way more serious. But we'll get into the story a little bit later. The first thing I wanna talk about is the characters. Obviously, I'm sure many of you guys have seen many of the characters from Chainsaw Man plastered all over social media, Twitter and Instagram, whether it be Makima, Power, or Denji. I mean, I just could not escape these characters before I even touched Chainsaw Man. And that's one thing that I've really been enjoying about Chainsaw Man so far, is finally having some context for these characters that I had just seen so many things about. You know, some things actually relating to the manga series, others just being some very interesting fan art. But you know, it's been really good and honestly exciting to finally have some personal attributes and characteristics to assign to these characters. I actually have an idea about what they're about rather than just seeing their faces online. And so far, I'm a pretty big fan of all of the major characters. Obviously, Denji is an awesome character. Just seeing his upbringing, what it was like before he became an official devil hunter was really sad and you can relate to him in certain ways. I really like Power as well. She's very cute and stubborn and honestly, just a really funny character that I enjoy reading every single time she comes onto the page. But the last character I want to talk about is Makima. Now, this is definitely one of the most interesting characters Characters in Chainsaw Man, not only for where I'm at right now, but I believe in general it's widely accepted. Makima is just such an interesting character for me because there's so many things about her and her motives that I don't know yet, and it's really fun to speculate, you know, why is she treating Denji like this, like has him on a pedestal basically, along with the mystery of her power that we get to see a little bit of in the fourth volume. I mean, people just getting crushed from seemingly nowhere. She's like, takes a life to take another life with somebody else. And I really can't wait to get more information on her power if we are granted that privilege. Another thing that's kind of related to characters, but also the artwork, is the character designs, which I absolutely love. Not only the characters, you know, base designs when they're not power up or anything like that, but they're very unique and enjoyable to look at. Not to mention the devil character designs, such as obviously the chainsaw devil and the katana devil, I believe. At first I thought he was like a bayonet devil, but apparently it's katana. The fight they has with Denji, I believe, in the third volume was super gory, super awesome, and the awesome character designs definitely added to the impact of that fight. Which kind of segues into the art segment of this video, which I always do when reading a series like this to give my impressions. Always want to talk about the artwork, and in particular for Chainsaw Man, it's not my favorite manga art in the world, but I also really enjoy it. Now, when it comes to manga art, I am by no means a stickler. You know, when I'm reading Vagabond or I'm reading One Punch, obviously I can appreciate the absolutely spectacular artwork, but as long as the manga artwork is at least unique, 
I can definitely enjoy, you know, some of my favorite series, particularly uh, Onani Master Kurosawa. I mean, it has very rough artwork, but it honestly added to the character. I really enjoyed looking at it. Honestly, the only time where I probably wouldn't enjoy manga's artwork if it was just completely bare bones and generic shonen artwork. I mean, we all know what I'm talking about. But the reasons that I'm not a huge, you know, diehard fan of this artwork is because, you know, sometimes it can look a bit unpolished and not specifically for, you know, a stylistic purpose. Uh, sometimes the faces just look kind of wonky, but you know, there are other parts, you know, during the fights or just random panels where it looks spectacular. So, you know, it's kind of up in the air. I'm not a massive fan, but it's not the worst artwork I've ever seen. And honestly, it's pretty damn good. And finally, I just want to talk about the story a little bit. I kind of touched on how it's basic where I am right now, but eventually divulges into something like, you know, really dark and not what you expected at all. I mean, so far, I really don't have any speculations on where the story is going, only that it involves Makima and sh I'm assuming she does something controversial or at least damaging to certain characters. If you guys have read Chainsaw Man and I'm right on the money, uh, don't spoil it for me in the comments. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into more of a serious tone with this series, you know, I enjoy the comedy where it is in Chainsaw Man, but you know, I'm also a fan of serious, darker manga. So if that's what Chainsaw Man becomes, I'm all here for it. Also, one quick note that I want to put at the end of this video that I completely forgot to talk about, but I found a parallel between Chainsaw Man and Doro Hidoro um, with the whole devils and contracts that exist within both stories. Not saying that the two contract systems are completely identical in both series, but especially at the end of volume four, when I forget the character's name, when he's signing contract with the devil who lives in his eye. I mean, it really just did remind me of Dora Hedora in that aspect. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys who've read this story also made that loose parallel between these series. Um, just something I thought I'd add at the end of the video. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. My first impressions of the Chainsaw Man manga. I know I'm super behind on talking about this series. I believe the base series is actually, or part one is completed, uh, not in English, but you know, I figured I'd talk about it anyway being a hot published series that I know a lot of you guys enjoyed. So hope you guys also enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. So yeah, this has been The Prom G. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And as always, hope to catch you in the next one.